Hi everybody, it's me again. Well, here is part three or four. I kind of lost count because, yeah, my memory's that bad. But yeah, here's the next part of my DVD collection and got some awesome DVDs to show all you lovely YouTubers out there. So let's get started. First one is The Dark Knight. This one is my favorite out of all of the Batman movies. Just because it's just really, really good. I don't know how to describe it. And hello, Heath Ledger as the Joker. Yeah. Um, Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. I love anything Alice in Wonderland related because it's like very whimsical and magical and adventurous and all that good stuff. I have a couple of episodes of The Three Stooges in color. And black and white. It, like on here it has like two versions of the color and the black and white so yeah I love the three stooges like the not not the movie I mean the movie was okay but the actual show that came out in like the 30s and like 40s or whatever it is so freaking funny it's stupid humor in a way I don't know and here is an old Disney vacation planning DVD cuz we love Disney and I have something really special to tell you guys at the end of this video about Disney, so stay tuned. This is um, Bratz Rock Angels when I got when I was like, I think in middle school or whatever. The sequel to Miss Congeniality, Miss Congeniality 2, Armed and Fabulous. The first one is always better. When I saw the trailer for The Heat, I was like, as soon as I saw Sandra Bullock, I was like, oh my god. They are not going to do a third movie to Miss Congeniality. It's not going to be that good. But then I saw the rest of it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. Wedding Crashers with Owen Wilson, Vince Vaughn, and with Christopher Walken. Very funny movie. A couple episodes of The Powerpuff Girls. I have, um, if you guys, like, watch, like, my VHS movie collection, then... I think I showed you guys I uh, had Powerpuff Girls DVD? No? Or movies? Maybe, I don't know. Oh well! Um, Tim Burton's Corpse Bride with Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter. I love... it's like stop motion I think. It's, it's so haunting and so beautiful at the very same time. It's amazing. Zathora. It's like a spin-off of um... Jumanji, you know, where they play the board game and they have to finish playing for it to go away and stuff. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Jim Carrey. I love this one. I always watch it come around Christmas time. Like, since it's going to be like October and Halloween time, I watch all of my Halloween movies, scary movies, or anything Halloween themed related. And I watch all my Christmas movies during the Christmas season. Um, Crossroads with Britney Spears. I haven't watched this in forever. This was one before she got kind of cuckoo and shaved her head, but she's all good now, I hope. The third and fourth Inuyasha movie. Third one is Swords of an Honorable Ruler and Fire on Mystic Island. My favorite one out of all four of the movies would have to be the second one. Um, Beyond the Looking Glass, I think it's called. Because that's when Inuyasha and Kagome first kissed. <laughs> so I was just like, yay! And I have... This isn't the complete first season of... um, Or it might be, I don't know. Of um, Inuyasha, but it has like a ten episodes on it. And yeah. The Scorpion King with The Rock. Can you smell what The Rock is cooking? Yeah. Wrestlers turn actor. He's a pretty good actor the muscles on him. Um, Transformers The Beginning. It's not an actual movie movie. It's more like a cartoon, I guess. I haven't watched this in for us, so I can't really tell you what it's about, but yeah. Transformers is awesome. Some episodes of Lizzie McGuire when it came on Disney Channel. Back in the day when actually Disney Channel shows were actually pretty good and not that stupid stuff now like Ant Farm Shake It Up. The first couple of episodes of Shake It Up was 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 okay. Or any of the stupid ones. Thing. Dog with the blog. I mean, come on! Disney, 
channel. Go back to when you were actually good and not just doing like stupid humor. Trolls Best Friends for Life, the movie. It's not an actual movie yet. It's just like the first two episodes of the Troll series. It was actually kind of cute. The fourth Pokemon movie, Pokemon Forever. Really, really good. My favorite movie, Pokemon movie, would have to be Pokemon 2000 with Lugia and Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos. Uh, that, that one's my favorite out of all of them. The first Miss Congeniality movie, which is the best by far in the two movies. Last Holiday with Queen Latifah. At first, all us when I went over to my friend Hannah's house for like a sleepover or whatever, and we watched the whole thing, and it was so funny. I mean, I got kind of used to it now where I don't really laugh, but it's, it's still a good movie. The Fifth Element with Bruce Willis, Mila Jovovich. Ian Holm and Gary Oldman. Yeah, while making this movie, Gary Oldman actually lost his British accent while while doing this, and he had to get like an actual coach to get his accent back. I mean, wow, that, talk about commitment. Some of my movies fell down. Sorry. Um, Errol Stein's The Haunting Hour. Don't think about it. It's, yeah. This came on, I first saw this night when it came on, like, TV or whatever, and I really like it. I liked, like, the first half of the movie. Like, before, like, she started to, like, go after the evil thing and kill it. That part is good, but and then after that, I was just like, eh, start over. Beauty shop. Queen Latifah again. Yeah, Queen Latifah. It's, it's, this is so, so funny. I mean, it's not like falling out of your chair, like gasping for air, almost dying of laughter kind of laugh. But it, it's, it's still funny. Now these next two ones don't, the DVDs don't work anymore, but I still have them just to keep them. Um, it's like a, vol a volume of The Amanda Show and Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery. This is like a parody of the James Bond movies and... Sorry, people who are James Bond fans, but I don't like James Bond. I just don't. I just never got into it. But, yeah. Um. Okay. Last couple ones for this part. <laughs> These next three, well, technically, one, two, three, four, five, five, are Will Ferrell movies. Talladega Nights, spelled Ricky Bobby. I love... My uncle Steven and I, like, lo we love, um, Will Ferrell movies. Like, we, we quote Talladega Nights, Step Brothers, like, every time we see George, we're just like, yeah, it's just so funny. We just die laughing. Yeah, there's that one. Um, this one, um, it has three of them, but my, f I don't like these two, but this one, Blades of Glory, I love it. I love it. That's why I, I mainly wanted this. And Step Brothers. I saw this in theaters when I was, like... What year did it come out in? 2008? When I was like 14 or 15? Yeah, I know it's rated R, so we had to get um, my friend Kristen's mom to come with us. And we didn't know how, like, bad it was gonna be. And when we were, we were shocked at, like, the drum set thing. We were just like, oh my god! Gladiator. We saw, I first saw this movie, um, when I was in, um, a history class, I think in... 10th or 11th grade? And it is so, it is, it, it's good. This is like, one of the movies you have to see before you die. It is a good movie. Yeah. I have, um, the first Predator movie, Predator 2, and AVP, or AKA, Alien vs. Predator on DVDs. I like all the Predator movies. I mean, the Predators, the, like, more recent one, like, it came out in, like, 2010 or whatever. Yeah, that one, that one's okay, but, of course, these are better, because they, they are the originals. And I have Alien and Aliens, and Alien, Aliens versus Predator Requiem. This is okay, it has, like, more blood and gore, I guess, to it. 
I don't have Alien 3 or Alien Resurrection, which is really sad. Because I want to get them so I can complete, like, the Alien Predator collection or whatever. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's it um, for this part of the DVD collection. And as I said when I showed you guys that Disney planning DVD, I have some exciting news. Guess who's going back to Disney World for Thanksgiving? Me! I'm really, really excited. Yeah, twice in one year. Two vacations in one year. And both of those being Disney. I am so, so excited because I've, I've been begging my mom to take me to Disney World during Christmas so I can, like, see the decorations and see the lights. But we're going to go during Thanksgiving because they're going to have, like, the lights up and the decorations up. I think probably most of the decorations, but they are going to have the lights up. And it's I think it's, like, less expensive than, um... Christmas, because, yeah, you get the idea. And we're only going, it's going to be a short vacation, but we're, since we're only going to three parts, we're just going to Magic Kingdom, Disney's Hollywood Studios, and Epcot. We're not going to go to Animal Kingdom, because it's going to be probably, like, kind of chilly, and we don't want to, like, look at animals this time. And we're not going to go to Downtown Disney or Universal or Islands of Adventure, which sucks. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm really, really excited. And so when it gets kind of closer to the um, that time, I'll like show you guys like what I'm gonna bring. Like I have a list of stuff that I'm gonna bring and you know, like miscellaneous items to keep me entertained on the way there. And then um, when I get back from my vacation, I'll show you guys what I got. So stay tuned for that. All right, well that's it for this part. So I hope you guys enjoy this and um. Stay tuned for the um for the next part of my DVD collection and put any comments it, it you have in the comment area down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.